Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. If you grew up with parents who uh, were a little difficult to love, whose love you had to kind of prove or show and it was quite not enough, if you grew up in that kind of way, very often you can find yourself living that out as an adult unless you recognize it, work on it, process it. Now I know a lot of you are going to say, oh I did that many many years ago because that's what you tend to say when you think you're hearing something that you know what I'm saying but you don't really because it goes a little bit deeper than that. And even though years ago I made a conscientious effort and decision to spend more energy with the people who want my presence and less with those who want what it is that I have to share or offer or be. Um, not an exchange, but I'll show up when there's something in it for me, transactional. Even though I made a conscientious decision years ago to do that, it's still there. And you it's something you have to kind of process and work on for the rest of your life. Because when you find yourself wanting to give without condition to everyone, no matter what, there will be those who are there conditionally. They're there when there's something for them. They're not the ones who show up for to support you in your work or to cheer you on or to just drop a note to say, amazing, you're doing amazing work. These are the people who know that you know how to have a good time and they're there for it, but not there for you. Start looking at how you're using your energy. Begin to ask yourself, what is it? Why am I? And I'm not saying get rid of people. I'm saying stop spending so much energy trying to please folks who don't try to please you. See, we keep having problems with people pleasers. What if more people were pleasing? What if the people pleasers pleased one another? What if we all woke up in the morning saying, let me not seek to be consoled and to console instead. Let me not seek to try to be loved, but to love. I know that that throws this equation off. Well, and what about the people who need you for what they need you for? And what if, what, do we leave those alone? I think that when we give the energy to those who show up, those who support, those who are ready to love, then those who are just there for what they need will see the party. They'll feel the energy. They'll feel the joy. And they'll say, how can I be a part of it? I don't know why this came up today and I don't know who it's making some sense for. But I'm telling you right now, there's more joy on the other side when we all start being joyful with joyful people and let those who just want to complain and groan see how good it is to be joyful. They'll come along. I know they will. I love you.